Hello everyone. Welcome to our new video series on MySQL using Python. So now that we have covered the basics of connecting to MySQL using Python, so let's dive into creating the tables within our databases. So as we already discussed in the first video, the tables form the foundation of any relational database management system, which allows us to organize and structure our data efficiently. Because we know that when we create tables, so tables are in row columns format. So let's see that how we can create table in our MySQL. Okay. So let's start. So we will first start by importing our MySQL library. So as we know, we have to import mysql.connector as con. Then what you have to do, we have to establish the connection. So for establishing the connection, we will use the connect method present in the mysql.connector library. Okay. And in this, we have some few parameters which we have to fulfill. So first of all is host. So we have to mention our host as localhost as we are using the localhost server. Then there is the user. So we are using the by default root. So our username is root by default. I have not changed any settings from the mysql. I have taken the by default value only. Okay. Then the password. So we have to give our password. Now, because we have to create the table, so that table will be created always in a database, inside a database. So in the previous video, we have created a database, CL coding. So in that database, we are going to create our new table. So let's mention that database here. So what will happen when we'll maintain the database here only, so we will not need to explicitly add the database. When we'll create the table, or means when we'll create the query for that creating table on that database. So that table will automatically get uh, created in this database only. So our database name was CL coding. So we'll keep that only. Okay. Uh, then you can print your connection in order to check that if it has established correctly or not, or you can use the conditional statement also. So I'm not going to use any of these things because I know that it will. Okay. Now it has been connection has been established successfully. Now let us create the cursor in order to create uh, in order to execute our queries so how to create the cursor first create an object and then on the connection establish object mycon we are going to apply our cursor okay then execute the cell. then execute the cell now what you have to do now the cursor has also been created now let's just write the query so for writing the queries i will just create an object query name and then we have to write the query so see these queries are the queries of the MySQL. These are not of Python. Okay. These queries are of the MySQL. So, and the query for creating our table is first of all, create. Okay. Then table and then the table name. Okay. Create table and then the table name. Just similar to the database. Create database and database name. So, just we have to specify here in place of database that we are creating a table. Okay. And my table name will be staff. Okay. And now in this staff, what we have to do, we have to mention the column names because what I have said you rows and columns format. So we have to set the variables also. Variables means the columns. Okay. So now uh, we'll create the columns. So I have to create the column as first will be a staff ID means I have to store uh, the information of the staffs. So for that, uh, what information a staff has in a company. So first the ID, then the names, then the position, and then the experience, these types of things. So we are going to store these things. So then there is ID. So for storing ID, we will use the data type int. Now one more thing is to notice here that first of all, you have to write the name of the column. Okay. And all these things you have to do inside the parenthesis, the table name, and then you'll start a parenthesis. And inside the parenthesis, you'll write the name of your column and then you'll specify the data type of it also. Okay. So a staff ID, ID will be in integer format only. So that's why I have given here int. Okay. Then there is then a staff name. So for a staff name, I'll use the data type wire care. Okay. Wire care is the sequence of characters. Okay. A data type, which has a maximum value of 255. So I'll give the maximum value 255. Then we have to give the staff position. So 
staff position and again we have to mention the data types so i'll mention varchar only because we have to write in characters then there is uh, staff experience means we have to keep the staff experience so what we can do a staff exp then we have to specify the data type float then we'll give two comma two means these two means how many total number will be there and the second two is for after the point after the decimal how many points you want so i want two before also and two after also decimal so i have given two comma two now so this was our query now what we have to do now using the cursor we'll use the execute method and in this execute method we'll apply apply this query okay and then we can give a conditional statement also for checking that your table has been created or not so you can just print a message that table created successfully so if this query will be executed successfully so you will get the message that table created successfully this is optional if you want to do if you want to apply the this conditional statement then you can apply or we are going to check it anyway okay so let's execute this cell. Okay, so it throws an error that we have already missed this uh, staff already exists. Yeah, that is because I have already created it. Now what I have to do, now we have to delete it first. So for deleting, I'll show you now only. Okay, now the query for delete a table. So it is very simple. Drop, so drop is the command which is used to delete. A database also and the table also so drop table again we'll mention that what we want to drop so we want to drop a table and then we'll write the name of our table stuff and then first of all we have to uncomment the upper one in python it will take the lower value only but okay for the convenience we'll just comment that upper line okay upper query and now drop table stuff now let's just execute so i'll just comment this line also because this is for means it is not means this conditional statement is directly dependent on the successful execution. If the query is successfully executed, then it will not see that it is the query for creating or dropping. It will just print whatever the message we want to print. So that's why I just commented it. Now let's just do what? Uh, yeah, it just got successfully executed. It means now it has been deleted. Now I'll uncomment this line. I, I, comment the second line okay now let's just create again so table created successfully message got printed now let's just do what let's just create one more query to see our table so for that simple so tables then cursor dot execute Then you can simply give for i in cur or what you can do you can store this in means you can do what first of all let's see this only for i in cur and then let's just print i so we are getting stuff means we have successfully created our uh, table with that particular columns now there is one more way using the fetch all method so what you can do here you can create a result and in that result you can just write cur dot fetch all method and then here you will give it like this result so again you will get the same value so you can use this fetch all method also or you can directly give the cur only means the cursor name okay now remember always when every task has been complete so you have to close the cursor and you have to stop the connection also means you have to close the connection also so for that you will have to use the close method so cursor dot close means curve dot close mycon dot close now we will execute this cell so now if you're going to execute any of these cells so it will give you an error that yes you the cursor is not connected because we have already closed it okay so that's all for today thank you i hope you like this video and this video is very helpful for you so we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.